This short video is taken from Mr. Number's webinar series on number wheels. Here he demonstrates the power of patterns and shows kids how to easily create the 12s and the 18 times tables on number wheels. You should watch how to create the 2s and 8s on a number wheel for this to make sense. Let this be a little, a little easier to read there. Um, those are the, the times uh, table structure for what we're looking at. So what's really important then is you can look at this table and know that, look at this one and then look at this one and know that 5, 6, 7 times 2 is 14, 10, 11 times 2 is 22, 11, 12, 13, 14 times 2 is 28. So you can actually see this table is what makes number wheels make sense to kids, where they can actually see a structure. I think this is so crucial that kids get this structure because then they can create the number wheel, then create the ones digits really easily, and they can create the tens digits really easily, and then figure out where they fit. To use this for memorizing the, the multiplication tables and to understanding how numbers work better. And I really think that the tables, if you combine the number wheels with the tables, you can go back and forth wherever they get stuck and go, they can see where they go past zero, where the tens are going to change. It makes sense. With this, and looking at the times table here, how these are all going to fit together, and we'll do the twelves instead of the twos. Can we do that? Sure. The only difference that we're going to do here is that if it goes up, it goes up by 2, and if it doesn't, uh, it goes up by 1 automatically, meaning that we start from 0, and it's going to go up 1, up 1, up 1, up 1, and up 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. So it's going to go up 1 from 6 to 7, up 1 to 8, up 1 to 9, up 1 to 10, and up 2 because it goes up to 12. So same, well, not going up means it goes up by 1, up means it goes up 2. And with that simple rule, you can do 13, 14, 15, 16, 18. I've never actually done this just like this before, but I'm just following the patterns. 20, 21, 22, 24. And what's really cool is if you take a look at those last digits, we have 6, 12, 18, 24. We've just, those are the sixes. So if you, if they are not a good pattern, then it's self-correcting. Your kid and you can see that you've got a problem there. And that's that's what we're doing here. So um, know that just that easily you can create the, the 12s. If we look at this chart, we go 9 times 12 is going to be 108. 13 times 12 is going to be 156. 24 times 12 is going to be 228. It's, it's, and the thing is, is kids, if they create this, it's a whole different world to them than if you're creating it and showing them it. So really have kids use those small tables and those small charts, or if they're young, use the big uh, charts, big tables, big charts, but have them play on those and create it. They are creating math, and that's what's important to them, is to actually create it themselves. So let's go down to the 8s, and the 18s are just as easy. Using that simple, same structure, everything's the same, except it goes up 1 is the default, and if it has an arrow, it goes up 2. So it's going to be 1, 3, 5, going up 2, same up, up, up. Same up, 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 up it's, is the pattern. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. 
Now it's going to go up 1, 1, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Now it's going to go up 1, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27. It's going to go up 1, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. And 9, 18, 27, 36. Those are the 9s. And if you have a pattern there, you know you did it right. And what's really cool is, take a look at this. These are all odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. The second row is all even numbers. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. The third row is odd numbers. Again, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27. The fourth row is even. 30, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. So have kids just pay attention to stuff like that and, and, and ask them about that and see if that's cool. And then show them the bottom chart and say, so after they've created this, so what's 3 times 18 is 54. And they've created it. And if they do this with the 2s, uh, then they'll believe it with the 8s. Based on ones and twos is really one of the keys to pattern play math. Kids trust the ones, they trust the twos. If you base it on that, they'll believe it on bigger numbers. So it's it's a really great system for doing it. And let's just go down here, and we're going to do the fourteens this easy. 